Morning everybody, so um, in case you're wondering, yes I have filled in my eyebrows, I just got really bored and I wanted to fill them in. Um, what's happening today is my mum and my grandma are going out and they did ask me to come with them but I didn't really want to, I've got so much stuff that I need to sort out. Um, and because it's just a chill at home day I'm gonna like give you a little sort of what's in my travel makeup case to make the vlog a bit more interesting. But yeah, I'm just chilling, I'm just watching Full House and then I'm gonna get tidying and I actually need to edit um, today, yesterday's vlog. So, and then I need to get that uploaded and everything. That shouldn't take too long. Um, actually, yeah, it should because I have loads of footage from yesterday. But yeah, that's what's happening and I will update you if my life gets any more interesting. Hi everyone, so the lighting is a bit rubbishy and my vlog is exporting in the background which you would have seen yesterday. I've just finished editing that. But as I was saying in yesterday's vlog, like I want to do stuff to make vlogs like this more interesting for you. So I thought today I would just show you what I bring in my makeup case whenever I go in like a car journey. When I'm like going somewhere by aeroplane um, or like a different mode of transport than a car, then I usually just bring it in a makeup bag in my suitcase but if I'm going like in a car journey then it's just it's great because I don't have to like I can bring as much luggage as I want and I always bring this because I like a lot of choice with my makeup I'm just doing this in random order whatever I'm pulling out first I've got my Z palette this is like one of the only palettes that I use like religiously and I know that this has got every single shade that I will want to wear on a daily basis in it and also if I want to do something a bit more glam. So I just bring that because it saves me bringing loads of eyeshadow palettes. Um, yeah, I've just got that. Then I've got the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water. This is um, just something that I bought when I was in Edinburgh and I'm just, obviously I'm taking that back with me. I've got some individual lashes and somewhere in here I also have some like normal lashes. Actually they're over there on the floor, but they're just the Ardell Demi Wispies. I've got my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Kit. This is like what I use for contouring on an everyday basis. I've got my um, Z palette with my MAC Emphasizing, which I'm about to hit pan on. I've got the Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder in Light Medium. And this had literally come in the post like the day that me and my mum traveled up to my grandparents. Um, travelled down to my grandparents, I don't really know which way. Um, and I didn't know if this would be a better contour shade or a bronzer shade, so I bought this, but now um, I'm regretting bringing my Kat Von D one because I've not used this while I've been here. I've just been using this to contour because this is my new favourite. MAC Studio Fix Powder, I can't go anywhere without this. This just locks my makeup onto my face. For primer, I bought the Nivea Post Shave Balm and then a little sample of the MAC Skin Base Visage. I bought two highlighters. I don't really know why, I just couldn't choose which one I wanted to bring. So I bought MAC Soft and Gentle and the Becca Champagne Pop. Then for blush, I bought the MAC Modern Mandarin Blush. This is just a really nice, like, orangey, corally, peachy shade. And for bronzer, I bought the Too Faced... Um, Milk Chocolate Sule, this is like my favourite bronzer ever. I bought two foundations, um, other than the Smashbox one because I obviously bought that while I was in Edinburgh. Um, I bought the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and I bought the MAC Studio Sculpt, these are like my two favourites. And then for concealer I bought uh, five different concealers, <laughs> that's so bad I don't need five. Um, actually no I didn't, I brought... Oh I brought four different concealers, so that's not that bad. I bought the Urban Decay Naked Skin for highlighting and the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer for like just great coverage. I bought the LA Girl Pro Conceal for um, carving out my brows and the Rimmel Lasting Finish for carving out my bra brows and also priming my eyeshadow. I would probably, if I was packing this makeup again, I would have only bought these two, the Naked Skin and the Lasting Finish. I really didn't need these two with me. I've got some lash glue, this is the Duo Brush On Adhesive. For eyeliner, I just bought my gel liner from Maybelline. It's the Eye Studio Lasting Gel Liner, 24 hour in the shade Black Chrome. I bought two mascaras, um, the Better Than Sex Mascara and the MAC Extended Play Lash because this is what I use on my top lashes and I use this on my bottom lashes. And I'm stand corrected, I did bring another concealer. I bought this NYX um, High Definition concealer in the green shade that I use this for concealing like the redness I've got on my cheeks and I actually have four mascaras which I did not even realize one of which I got as a freebie in Edinburgh um 
Ailish's mum actually got this for me. And then I've got another sample of this MAC one, which again I got. I've got a bunch of lip products. So I've got my Kylie Metallic um, Liquid Lipstick. I've got the PS Pro Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Supermodel Nude. And this is in King K, I forgot to say. I also bought my favourite nude combo, which is the Jeffree Star Eye Nude Liquid Lipstick and the NYX Butter Lipstick in Fun Size. If I wanted more of a pinky nude, then I bought the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair to go over the top of the Jeffree Star um, Liquid Lipstick. I also bought a bright colour just in case I wanted a red. This is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade Peach Club. I've got the MAC Lipstick in Velvet Teddy and I also have the MAC Lipstick in Cream Cup, but I don't know where that is. I think that's in my bag. Then I bought the Juicy Shaker in the shade April Cute. This is just like a lip oil, so I love using this just um, to moisturise my lips. And then I bought another Kylie lip kit. This is the shade Coco K, and I bought the lip liner and the lip kit. And then finally for lips, I didn't actually mean to bring this. This is the Soap and Glory Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in Nudist. I've been looking for this for months. You guys have no idea. And I was in Edinburgh, and I was like looking in my bag for my lipstick, and I just found this in my bag. Um... So yeah, I just threw that in here so that when I unpacked the rest of my makeup it was in there and I wouldn't leave it in my bag again as I have done previously. I did bring three eyeshadows from Bare Minerals just in case I wanted a bit of something extra. So I bought Strawberry Mousse, I bought Vanilla Sugar and I bought Cupcake. And these are just, there's two pinky ones and one like nice shimmery peachy one. And these are just minis so they're really easy to travel with. Then I bought my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes um, Cream in... Uh, shade 13 um, this is just really nice cream eyeshadow and I love using this as a base and then the final things that I bought were my eyebrow products which if you're wondering I do get a lot of questions is the dip brow pomade in the shade taupe and the brow artist plumper by L'Oreal in the shade blonde and this is the old one not the new one I don't like the shade of the new one that is all my makeup that I bought with me. I'm not going to show you brushes because I am going to be doing my brushes in a separate video on my main channel. I'm not going to do like a what's in my travel makeup bag on my main channel. But I do want to do like the everyday brushes tag. Um, so that's why I'm not showing you brushes on this channel. But yeah, that is what I bring in my makeup bag. I know that this was kind of like rushed through, but I just did it as something to make my vlog a bit longer. Hi everyone, so excuse my appearance. It is later on now, it's quarter to ten. I'm not vlogging in a while. Again, I've been doing nothing with my life. I've actually just been sitting downstairs with my mum and my grandma for about half an hour just talking about my life. Because you tell my grandma something and five minutes later it's completely erased from her memory, so... <laughs> I've just been going back over my life and um but yeah basically I'm going to bed now I'm gonna end this vlog here tomorrow I will probably be doing another like car karaoke thing you guys all seem to really like that and um I'm traveling home tomorrow so another long car journey equals a lot of jams <laughs> so um I'll probably do another one of them let me know if you like Oof, if you'd like that because I would love to do that for you but um yeah I hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon with another one bye